Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while, I'm so sorry. And for the people who don't know who I am, I'm Samira, I'm a fifth year medical student studying in the Netherlands. <laughs> this video i'm going to tell you the five things i wish i knew before entering medical school i hope you like it and if you do give it a big thumbs up the first thing i wish i knew when entering medical school is that people still lie about the amount they study i remember susan or susie back in middle school or high school who will always lie about the amount she studied and she will say i studied one hour before the test or maybe one day before the test and eventually she was the one who got 100 percent while you got 60 percent well those people are still in medical school those people will still lie about the amount they studied i don't know why because if people say they studied two weeks or a month before the test i think it's great i mean that means you just are dedicated uh, but no so be prepared for that Second thing I wish I knew was that your brain can retain a lot of things during medical school. If you thought you studied a lot during high school, it will be way, way more during medical school. The amount of things we need to know is actually crazy. So when I think back to high school, um, I think studying for those exams are a walk in the park now, honestly. The first three years during my medical school are basic sciences. So we have anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, those years are extremely, no, they're not hard, but you have to remember a lot of things in a small amount of time. I still don't know how I can retain all those things, but it gets better during your rotations because uh, the information that you learned during those years, you can use that in a practical way. So that's awesome. Third thing I wish I knew was that it's really hard to uh, get into a specialty. Before I got into medical school, I always thought the hardest part was getting into medical school, but the hardest part now is getting into a specialty. A lot of specialties are really competitive. Sometimes it's because there are a lot of people who want to apply for a certain thing, but sometimes there's just not enough space for everyone. So you have to do certain things to stand out. Uh, for example, when I was in high school, I did a lot of extracurricular activities to get into medical school. And now I still have to do those things to get into the specialty I want. I always thought that when I got into medical school, I was done, but that's not the case. So be prepared to do extracurricular things um, after you study for your exams. Fourth thing I wish I knew was that your preferences change all the time during medical school. When you ask medical students in their first year what they want to do, 50% will say they want to be a surgeon. Some people will say they want to do brain surgery. If you ask those people again in their last year, a lot of people will say that they want to get into primary care. Because when you get into medical school, you don't take everything into account. For example, starting a family, having a social life. And when you're almost done, those are the things you think about. So just be open-minded during your rotations so you can know what other options you have. And the last thing is you can still have a social life outside of medicine. Don't look at me, but some people can, a lot of people can. If you manage your time well, you can still hang out with your friends and do fun things. I think the most important thing is time management and if you can do that, then that's great and you can still have a social life. And those are the five things I wish I knew before getting into medical school. I hope you enjoy it. And for the people who want to get into medicine, don't be scared. You will have a great time. I hope you like this video. And if you do, uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what you want me to do next. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. They say that boy scrubby nice. I guess it's just my alter ego. Whoa, off the lingo. I could start a wave to crush a leg.